Ritchie's Tool Concentration Technique, presented by Department of Applied Medical Technology of King Abdulaziz University. The principle of this technique is based by removing the debris from the sample by concentrating heavy materials such as the parasite egg and cyst as sediments using the specific gravity of the solution. Here's a list of all the things we are going to use in this experiment. Diethylene ether, 10% formal saline, funnel, 15 milliliter centrifuge tube, plastic by bits, wooden sticks, slide, cover slip, iodine, and gauze. Start by labeling your tube with something appropriate so it's easy to recognize later on. Then, add 10 milliliters of 10% formal saline into your tube. Do it slowly and carefully, as pushing hard may lead to splashing. Here is an example of splashing. Mix your sample well, and then open it slowly and add in between 3 to 5 milliliters of the sample into your tube. Close it well and invert it a couple of times for mixing. Next step is filtration. Place your funnel into the tube and put two layers of gauze into it. Pour in your sample into the funnel into the second tube. Using a wooden stick, squeeze the sample gauze into the tube. Squeeze it in a circular motion around the funnel. Go to the centrifuge and set it up for 5 minutes at 2000 rate per minute. Set your sample and set an appropriate counterbalance to the opposite side. When removing your sample from the centrifuge, be careful to invert the sample or shake it as it may ruin the separation. Hold it steady as the next step is the decanting step. When you decant your sample, you need to do it quickly and in one move. You cannot be hesitating. Here is two bad examples of too long of inverting time and hesitating when inverting. And here is an example of good decanting in one move. You are going to be adding 10 milliliters of 10% formal saline and 3 milliliter of diethylene ether. Close your tube very well and start shaking it vigorously for 20 to 40 seconds. And then move to the centrifuge, same setting as before, 5 minutes at 2000 RPM. When finishing the centrifugation step, you will end up with the result with the distinct layers. Diethylene ether, fecal debris plug, formal saline, and a sediment layer. To get to the sediments, you need to remove the fecal debris plug, and that is done by using a wooden stick. Draw a cross and circle it around the diameter of the tube. It may be hard to see, so here is a reconstruction on a paper. Again, a cross and a circle around the tube. This is done slowly and carefully, so it would not mix the debris back into the sample. Then decant the three top layers and add in three drops of iodine into your tube. Mix it well using a wooden stick or plastic by bit. And then take two drops into a slide and cover it with a cover slip. And you are ready for the microscopic examination. There isn't that much to preparing your microscope, just to make sure that the light condenser lens and the light levels are appropriate for viewing. Start the examination at the 10x lens, moving in a zigzag motion, up and down, side to side. And then you can be confirming using the 40x lens. If you are not able to detect parasites, eggs, or cyst, try again under the 40x lens. Again in a zigzag motion. 
Moving under the microscope, here is a video of an E. coli that has been detected during the microscopic examination. Here's a still image zoomed in for viewing. You can clearly see the shape and how uniform it is and the nucleuses. And here is another finding of Guardia. Note that you can't see trophozoites uh, of these parasites in the sample because during the Ritchie technique application the trophozoites get stuck with the fecal debris. And here is a finding of Ascaris egg. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and listening.